Maggie, check out this watch. I hate you, Teddy Baldazar. What? His name is Teddy Baldassar. Baldassar. He's like a cross between Pinky Blinders and Downton Abbey. I don't know if I should be scared of him or he's going to be a suitor to the Crowley ladies. Anyways, my name is Timothy Sands. This is Fashionable Father. If you're one of the lucky ones and have subscribed early, welcome back. If you're new here, subscribe if you're so inclined. Now, before I get into the intrigue of Teddy Baldassar... Let me tell you a little bit about the rabbit hole I went down in regards to automatic watches. Basically watches that wind themselves while you walk. So you do not need a battery and you do not need to wind them. A little history. This technology dates back to the 1770s. That's right, this technology was in pocket watches. And then eventually, I think it was right after World War I, uh, the wristwatch was invented and this technology actually became a part of wristwatches, but I think it was mostly high-end watches and like the lower end, like normal Joe watch, you still had to wind. And then like the late 60s, pretty much the quartz and battery movement took over and mostly because it was just cheaper to make and they were just more accurate um, across the board. And it was like 10 years ago when I think it was hipsters and kind of a Luddite mindset of, you know, staying off the grid and automatic watches kind of made a big comeback, I, I'm assuming. So it was that much cooler that it was an automatic watch that didn't need to be wind and also did not need a battery because I have replaced many batteries in the watches I've had up till now. So now I want the perfect watch. And what does YouTube give me but this guy? Teddy Baldassar. Honestly, getting more people into watches has become a big part of who I am. Now, Ted here has quite a few videos. Videos upon videos about watches. And in these videos, he talks about watches upon watches. Like he has long, long lists of watches he talks about. And he talks about all the finite details. Watches are gonna fluctuate between the price of around $250 to $300. Case size, we're looking at 42 millimeters. Case thickness of 11 millimeters. Great option, powered by a quartz orient HS911 movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters. Really like these ones. All right, so tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite brand? Because there are quite a few and it's hard to narrow it down. Now with Ted here, he's got a smaller wrist. So he talks about smaller watches, which I like because I don't really have the smallest wrist. I also don't like those big, clunky watches that you know have gotten very trendy and it seems like the normal thing to do is buy a big watch i want something kind of minimal something that kind of fits my wrist he also has a love for seiko's seiko fives seiko five we have another seiko five seiko five snk this is the seiko snk 789 hope this would help but no it just makes it harder to choose a watch much harder he also points out these amazing micro brands that are just tantalizing um, one of them is Baltic. They uh, make watches out of France and their design is so perfectly vintage, minimal, and the colors they use, oh yeah. But these prices are uh, beyond my price point. He also partnered with a, a clothing brand. Big shout out and thank you to our partners of the show, Taylor Stitch. I got some Taylor Stitch, bro. I got a Taylor Stitch jacket right here. That's right. And I love it. And it wasn't cheap. And it's pretty awesome. And the material that they use is fantastic. And yes, they source it really well. And you gotta love them. So yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you're partnering with them. Am I jealous? Of course not. And I mean, when I approached them to actually be a partner of the show, I was just hoping to kind of get them front and center. He also sells watch bands on his website, teddybelsasar.com. Any support with purchasing those would be a huge help for the channel. So yeah, this kid is killing it. Am I jealous of Teddy Belsasar? No. Am I gonna buy a Seiko 5? Yes. Am I gonna replace the Seiko 5's band with one of Teddy Balthasar's leather bands? Yes. Do I hate Teddy Balthasar? Maybe just a little.
All right, tell me what Seiko 5 I should get if you are a fan or what other watches that you think I should get. My name is Timothy Sands and this is my story of fashion and fatherhood. Like this video if you are a watch connoisseur and went down a rabbit hole like I did and watched a guy like Teddy make things just that much harder for you. Subscribe if you're so inclined and always remember, always remember, style first. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, check out that watch. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I forgot what I was supposed to say. <laughs> what am I saying again? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. I was really actually reading. <laughs> <laughs> 